So I've got a sample from Roy Ayers here, and you can see that I've looped this over two beats. This is going through the compressor with the side chain from the kick, going for that obvious pumping kind of effect. Through the auto filter to create some sonic movement, and then a touch of redux to give it some graininess. Let me take these off. There's the original loop. Let me extend that to a bar. So you can see how with just a few steps you can really transform an old loop. Let's bring the side chaining back on, auto filter and the redux. So this is coming through, it's exactly the same method that you've seen so far, although we didn't actually filter the sidechain input because it was only coming from the kick because this is on separate outputs, this impulse. Now, the thing is with this method is that if you've got your structure and your kick is not playing, you're not gonna hear the sidechain. Now, if you did want that to carry on, what you need to do is to set up another silent kick so that it can't be heard. So what I'll do is I'll take this kick here, I'm gonna drag that over to a new track, I'm going to rename this SC kick. And we are instead going to do the sidechain in from the SC kick. So that's running there now. We take it off the output for the SC kick. And then we can just get everything running. And if we were to stop the kick, we still got that movement going because the kick is running. Now this one here actually has got the other elements at the same time, so to make it really precise, let's take away those and it's only gonna be the kick heard. It's got a nice movement going on there. So that's just another way of doing the sidechain. You set up a sidechain kick that we do not hear but it is still being used to duck the actual signal on the compressor.